Hi, Julie. I just wanted to wish you a very, very happy uh, retirement um, and a sincere thank you for everything you've done um, for me, for the school, and the students, obviously. Um, I'd kind of be lost without you uh, with pretty much every single deposit I make or trying to get gas reimbursed. You're always just so polite about it because uh, I ask the same question like every time or I forget to fill something out you just kind of laugh it off and they're always so nice so I'm gonna miss that um, I'm also gonna miss your husband's fixing my scholar bowl buzzers um, which was a uh, um, really nice thing to do um, so thank you um, you're gonna be missed around here and once again happy retirement hope to run into you at Chick-fil-a like we we have before <laughs> Hey Julie, congratulations on your retirement. I don't know how we're going to function without you. You're so good at your job. We really have to hire two people to replace you. Um, you are just so organized and so kind and helpful and I am so appreciative of all of the help that you have given me and the debate program over the past nine years. Um, you are just an absolute gem and I hope that you have a wonderful retirement and maybe I will see you out in Canterbury Park going for walks. Hi Julie, I just wanted to let you know that I really enjoyed getting to know you better in Fit Club all those years ago. Uh, I'll miss our talks about all things KU and about cats and about how much you mow your yard. And I just think about how I don't know I've ever met anyone with so much energy. And I always wonder where you get that from. So I have no doubt you're going to stay busy in retirement. And I think that it's awesome that you're so involved in your sorority and you have so many friends outside of school. So good luck with everything in your future and come back and let us know how retirement is treating you. Julie, I don't know how we're gonna function without your knowledge. Your your support in everything budget has been just over the top supportive. Even when you're like, we can't do it. Well, okay, we'll figure it out. Like I have just, I've been so appreciative of what you've done for us, and I I don't know how we'll do it without you. Julie, congratulations on your retirement. We appreciate everything you've done for Northtown to take care of our students and our staff. You'll be missed. Can't wait to see you back to school as a, as a retiree. Congratulations. Roger, I didn't realize you were retiring, and seeing your name on this list makes me very sad. Um, I, I, I think our department has a, a special um, just love for you and appreciation um, for who you are and, and just the conversations we've had, and um, it, it's, it's going to be a very different place without you, and we're going to miss you. Roger, we're definitely going to miss you at Northtown. Uh, Having activities and events going on without you there is, is going to be—it's going to be difficult. Uh, you took, took such pride in our school, and you made sure everything that we did was a first-class event. Thank you so much. Enjoy your retirement. Oh, Roger, how I miss our days when I was in Old Maine. 
We used to talk about everything sports, everything about the education system, how to solve world problems. And I think what I loved most about you is that you had a nickname for every teacher in the school. And I'm still waiting to hear what my nickname was. So I wish you the best of luck in retirement. Keep growing that hair. Keep thinking about ways to save the world and to change it and make it a better place. And come back and let us know how retirement is treating you. Hello Northtown family, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for all the support and the love and kindness that you've shown me in the last 21 years I've spent at North Kansas City High School. I've worked with many wonderful educators, administrators, administrative assistants, custodial personnel, and cafeteria personnel. All of you have always shown me kindness and friendship and I will always remember that. I had the privilege of working at the same high school that all three of my sons attended. For those of you still there at North Kansas City that had my kids, thank you. You helped mold them into the kind, caring men that they are today. They are examples of so many students that you've reached out and touched and helped along the way. And all of you should be very proud of that. I know I'm extremely proud to say that I worked with you. Saying goodbye is never easy for me, and saying it in this way hurts a little bit more. But I hope to someday see you again, and again, thank you for all the love and support that you've given me through the years. I will forever be a Hornet. Bye. Liz, you like mentored me even before I got hired at Northtown when I was, well, I was a long-term sub, working in the library, converting everything over when we were joining um, the, the high school library with the public library. And I, you, I, you, you told me what to do and how to do it. And I relied on you so much. And, I, you know, we've, we've just, we've had such a long run together. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be strange to not have you around. Um, but I hope that it is a lovely retirement. Hey Liz, congrats on your retirement. I am so grateful for all of the laughs and fun times that we had together over the years. Um, I especially have fun memories of Theater One class together and I feel very fortunate that I got to know you better because of that. Congratulations on your retirement. Hi Liz, I just wanna tell you that I think you are a total sweetheart. You've had a lot of different roles at Northtown and you've embraced each one gracefully and seamlessly. I think you do amazing work with our kids and you're always just so friendly in the hallways. I wish you the best of luck in retirement. Go and have a great time. Hi, Nordtown family, Sandy McQuarrie here. I retired at the end of December, so I really already know what retirement is like, and actually I've just loved it. Really, there's a lot less that you have to think about. Uh, I, I really noticed that right off, right off the bat. You know, even 
looking at the clock or watching the time or whatever is something I don't do anymore. Um, kind of, it's been kind of, the isolation has been kind of similar to retirement. Uh, we were watching our grandkids for a while and then we stopped, but now we're watching them again. That's just been such a joy. Uh, what I miss most about North Town is seeing friends. Uh, probably, um, it, it's always been touched my heart to see uh, you all be so supportive of students, all of the staff, not just even the teachers, but supportive with uh, academically as well as emotionally. Uh, you all are amazing. Um, I kind of miss the energy of the kids. Stimulating conversation for me now is uh, the mailman's here or What'd you say? Or are you getting ready for bed? Um, not quite as stimulating, but I have thoroughly enjoyed being with my husband. He retired at the same time and um, he's a wonderful, godly man. I wouldn't want to be isolated with anyone else. Um, guess that's, that's it. Thank you so much for all your support of the a program. It's a great program for students that may not be able to go to college without it. and. Uh, I, I just appreciate all the support uh, from, from you all over the years. Thank you so much and uh, enjoy your summer. Sandy McQuarrie, happy retirement. Thank you for being a support for all of our students, especially the AVID students as they signed up for the A-plus program. And thank you especially for organizing the buses after school to give them opportunities to do those volunteer uh, tutoring hours. Congratulations and I hope you have a wonderful retirement and um, keep busy and happy. Hey Sandy, I know you've already retired, you're already enjoying your life, but I just wanted to take this time to tell you that we miss you. Um, I've always appreciated your flexibility at Northtown, whether you were in the A plus office or over in Norclay or at the old student service center. Um, you've always done things with such grace and I've really appreciated that about you. I also loved having three of your five kids in class and I'm still trying to figure out how you had five perfect kids because statistically one of them shouldn't have been perfect, right? Um, I still laugh when I think about one day maybe uh, Caleb and Josie getting together and being married and we could be in-laws, but uh, anyway, I just think you are a wonderful person, you have a wonderful family, and I wish you all the best as you continue your retirement, and thank you so much for being my friend and being a great mentor. Sandy, I hope retirement's been going well. Uh, you did fantastic things for the A-plus program. I really enjoyed the chance to get to know you. It was easy to tell that you truly cared for our kids. Congratulations on your retirement. Sandy, you have been this ray of sunshine that has been such a wonderful, uh, just relief sometimes. If I know that I just, I need a break from stress, I can go talk to you and it just feels like everything's okay. I've also had the privilege of having almost all of your kids in class. Not all of them. Uh, I think one. I missed one, I think. Um, but uh, it's just been such a wonderful, wonderful privilege to be uh, a part of your family. And I hope that you stay in touch with us. Barbara and Mike, uh, you guys are definitely going to be missed. Um, I really enjoyed getting a chance to know you guys uh, and to work with you and, and watch you, uh, all the great things that you did for our kids in our orchestra program and our choir program. Uh, you will definitely be missed. You have definitely left uh, an impression on our school. We thank you for everything that you've done. We are here talking about your retirement, that you are retiring at the end of this year. 
So I was wondering, what will you be doing after retirement? <laughs> well, the first thing um, my husband and I will be doing is going on a cruise down the Rhine River oh. this summer. But now, with the coronavirus, I'm a little bit <laughs> worried about whether travel will be restricted. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll see if that works out. Um, but next fall, I'll probably start teaching some private lessons, violin mm -hmm. and viola lessons, out of my home. Do you know how any of the kids feel, like how they are reacting to this? I don't. I was worried about telling um, the orchestras that I was retiring. I didn't know if they would be um, like mad or sad or maybe some of them were happy <laughs> that I was leaving. It's It's been interesting. I don't know that they were kind of sad, the Hornet Orchestra, when I told them. By the time I told Chamber Orchestra, I think a lot of you guys had already heard the rumor. <laughs> and is there anything that you want to leave with the kids? Some, like, word of advice or anything for them? I love this school and these kids and this diversity and just the magic that is... Northtown and uh, what we've been able to create and I want that to continue. I want that magic spark that this school and these students have to continue long past me being gone. Hey Hornet Nation, Coach John West here, class of 1983. I want to wish all you that are leaving Northtown nothing but the best of luck in whatever it holds for your future. And for those of you that are retiring, enjoy retirement. We appreciate all the time you spend here in Northtown, not only the staff, but the kids and everybody involved in this school. Once a Hornet, always a Hornet. And you, Marcia, Mama Robinson, you were always great with the kids and they truly miss you. Marsa, I hope you have enjoyed your retirement and the lake life is going well. Uh, you were a great, great individual for our school and my time that I've been here really enjoyed everything that you did for me and you did for our students and our staff. Hope retirement's going well. Hope to see you soon. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is my uh, retirement video, and I'm uh, dropping in to say uh, goodbye, farewell. I wish you all the very best. Uh, I've talked about this for a long time, and now I'm excited about taking the big, big step. Um, what am I going to do next year? Well, uh, one of my goals is to travel. Uh, I've taken kids all over the United States. But this time I want to go see uh, those cities again without kids. Uh, I plan to set up uh, my own studio where I'll be working uh, with kids on their voice lessons and being a resource person for the school districts. Uh, I just want to say thank you again. You guys are a great staff. You're so professional and I will miss you a lot. John West said to me the other day, he said, uh, what are you doing here? Go home. Well, I'm going home.
Congratulations, Mike, on your retirement. I feel so fortunate to not only have had you as a teacher when I was a student in choir, um, but even more so to have gotten to know you as a colleague. You have always been so supportive of me, um, and I know how passionate you are about your job, and this, this was not the ending um, at all that you would have wanted, but I hope that you have really wonderful things that you get to do in the future and get to enjoy your retirement. We'll miss you. Hey, Mike, so you finally did it. Happy retirement to you. I know you have a lot of other interests that you can pursue now that you're going into retirement. I just want you to know that I've had a great time getting to know you better and choreographing some of the routines for your harmonaires and your other music programs. I think you are super talented and such a nice person. And I wish you all the best in retirement and come back to Northtown sometime and see us. Go Glenn. Uh, thank you for being uh, my friend and my mentor and an awesome teacher. Um, I get to see the evidence of that through all the comments from your students um, about how much they love you and plus all the hard work and dedication that you put in to your classroom, to your students, to the bulletin boards, to the teach club, to everything you put your whole heart and we are going to miss you a lot. So happy retirement and thank you for being a support for me and for many, many others. Hey Barb, congratulations on your retirement. I am so thankful that we got to know each other better over the past few years in our little corner hallway in Maine um, and then our times over in Norway. You are just so helpful and kind and fantastic and I hope that you have a wonderful retirement. Congratulations, we'll miss you. Hey Barb, I just want you to know that um, I've really learned a lot from you the last couple years. I've loved getting to know you better through Teach Club and just watching how you really develop students into wanting to become teachers. I've loved being able to take field trips with you and do some of the fun things like trunk or treat and just to get to see your creativity. I'm so happy for you to be able to retire and be with those precious grandbabies little twins are just adorable and I know you're going to teach them great things and whoever takes your place I'll make sure they take care of those little baby think-alongs and all of those little baby gadgets that you have because I know those are really important to you you wrote a lot of grants to get those so I'm really proud of you for deciding this was the year to retire and go forward in your future so have a great time thank you for everything you've taught me and best of luck Barb I have so enjoyed getting to know you um, it just these really I feel like almost just the past couple of years in Norclay but um, you've been so helpful anything I've asked or, or just even just support just talking to each other and and trying to to get through um, what has been a challenge with all of this change um, so I know that those grandbabies are so lucky that you are retiring we are not but I'm glad that they are so lucky enjoy it
I know I didn't get to know you very well, but um, I do want to apologize for all the neediness that we had over at South Campus. I feel like we were constantly on the walkie saying, Paul, please come do this. Paul, please come do that. And you always did it with a smile on your face and such a gracious attitude. So best of luck in retirement. Go enjoy all the things that you love and come back to Northtown and let us know how you're doing. Paul, I cannot believe that you are retiring. Man, you look at all the things that you have done for our school with construction and moving, and I can't tell you how impressed I am that you always did it with a great attitude and great work ethic. Uh, you've been a fantastic person to get to know. You definitely deserve this retirement. I hope you get a chance to go do some fishing and relax. Thanks for all you've done, Paul. Dr. Dan, wow, what a legacy that you have left for our school. Uh, it's been a pleasure to work with you. Really appreciate the opportunity to come and be a Hornet in North Kansas City. Um, I, I can't tell you how grateful I am for the chance to come and, and be part of this school. Congratulations on retirement. Uh, you definitely deserve it. Can't wait to see you around and, and uh, we appreciate all that you've done. Congratulations. Congratulations on your wonderful career, Dan. What a way to go out. I'm sorry we couldn't all be with you at Mackin Park today to celebrate properly. I'm going to miss your sense of humor, you going to bat for your people, and your amazing support and compassion. You always understood that family is first and foremost. You always trusted us. I appreciate everything you have done um, and wish you the best in your retirement. We'll miss you. Dan, congratulations on your retirement. Um, I think that we probably have been at Northtown about the same amount of time and um, I'm very grateful that I not only got to have you as a principal and my research methods teacher for my senior year, but then even more so that you were the principal that gave me the job at Northtown um, and allowed me to come back to my alma mater and do what I love. So I'm so grateful for your support and your kindness and I hope that you have a fantastic retirement. Congratulations. Hey Dan, well I don't even really know where to start. Um, you've been an amazing principal. Um, someone I kind of think of as like the fun uncle. You know all things Broadway, we get to talk about Young and the Restless, um, but in all seriousness, the thing that I have loved most about working with you is your ability to trust me as a professional. Um, you've never questioned what I do in my classroom. You trust that I'm doing what's right for kids. And that is something that I have really, really valued. Um, a lot of people try to micromanage and, and use their leadership positions in ways that um, belittle and make people not feel as valued but you have always treated me with such respect and I just wanna thank you so much for that. I know retirement's gonna be a lot of fun with your grandkids and traveling with Judy, so I just wish you the best of luck. Make sure you're not a stranger. Come back and let us know how great things are and we're really gonna miss you. Hi, Dan. Uh, just wanted to wish you uh, an incredibly happy and well-deserved retirement. Um, you know, there's a lot of things I could go into, a lot of stories. But I just want to say thank you for everything that you do behind the scenes. Um, the items that, you know, many of us don't even realize that you do to help students or help, you know, your staff. Um, you know, being an administrator, I would imagine, is a very difficult job. Um, but, you know, you always just kind of take the brunt of it, um, you know, of, of the blame. And I think none of us truly realize the work that you do behind the scenes to just make it better and easier for us. Um, so thank you. 
I'm going to miss, uh, you know, having brief conversation, cracking some jokes, um, amongst maybe some uh, serious talk, but, uh, you know, stay in touch and once a hornet, always a hornet. Thanks again. I appreciate you. There are words. We will miss you. <laughs>